Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to this week's plan with me in my Bob Ross bullet journal. This is my last week's spread and I will include a card up above. If you have not viewed it, please go ahead and take a look here. I really loved how simple this spread was and how fun it was to create. And it did use some stickers from my shop as well as some other Etsy stickers as well. But it still was not overcrowded, which I like in some of my planning spreads as well. So for the planning spread that I'm using, I decided to use stickers from the Happy Planner Floral Print Sticker Book, as well as the OLL stickers. I wanted to go ahead and decorate the spine of the book or the planner, and I wanted to use my Michaels card to go ahead and make sure that I had a, a nice crease in the sticker so I wasn't putting the sticker too far so when you close the book and open it back it would kind of puff up so that's kind of why I decided to use the sticker now there was a huge sticker or huge portrait of Bob Ross and either two fawns or two deers I'm not sure exactly what the age of those animals are and I thought it was really pretty but it is taking up a big portion of my writing space so I had to go ahead and compensate and use the right page that was blank to help so I decided to set down as many stickers as I could and I wanted to use real flowers at this point because real flowers was really great in representing nature and you know Bob Ross was in nature I just think this is so cute I'm kind of sad that this is becoming I'm getting to the end of this planner and I'm gonna have to go ahead and pick another planner I still have not selected one so I think I have like another I want to say another week or month or so like that before this planner is done but I went ahead and I started lettering some of the days of the week. The pen that I'm using, just in case you're curious, is a pen that I got from Kineo. It's not a specific brand. It's just one of these off brands. And I'm not sure if Kineo is Korean or Chinese based. I have a Kineo movie too, where I do a haul on a bunch of supplies that I got. I'll also include that card as well. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it, you guys. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Um, I went ahead and wrote Monday, Tuesday, I went to Wednesday and I accidentally skipped to Friday because I think I'm just so used to putting Friday at that point, but I had to white out and put Thursday and then Friday and then I had to put the, just weekend because there just wasn't enough space to do all seven days. And I am using my little Instagram card, you guys. So you can go ahead and check out some of the spreads that I post as well. After I wrote down the days of the week, I went ahead and I continued doing a tad bit more planning. I cut the stickers in half. It serves a lot of purposes. Uh, first, I'm cheap and I need to stretch these stickers as far as I can go. Um, two, it looks cute because it's like it's it looks like it's supposed to be that way. And also, it's just sometimes you need the space as well, so it's functional to cut them in half and only use half of the space versus all of them. So it serves a, a different purpose as well. I decided to use these cute stickers from OLL and I just thought it really helped to kind of tie in some of the floral prints and still make it somewhat girly. So I thought it went really well together and I put a few more stickers in just to kind of make sure it's enough and yes I put two stickers that didn't match both in the spine. Yes I did that. Mm -hmm. 
but I still think it was really cute. And yes, I was in my robe. It was, I just wasn't feeling well, just allergies, not to sound like a crybaby or anything like that, but um, I just felt more comfortable in my robe whenever I was filming this plan with me. So I do go ahead and write down some of what I do for the week. A lot of what I did was I was just in a mood for a hot and sour soup. And I know hot and sour soup, I've had a lot of it to know when some places do it really, really well and other places don't. But I found another spot that did it really well and it was really great. And I didn't know that soup, even though it's really tasty, it's a really low calorie soup because it's like I don't even miss the meat when I, I eat it. There's not really meat in that soup. It's a lot of tofu. But uh, back to this planning here, I know I have to get new ink for a printer. I was supposed to get it. I still have not gotten it. I know that's shameful. I do have to go and work out and some days it was just like really tough because it's like when you're tired, it's always important to listen to your body. Something I didn't do before, but I mean, if you're really, really, really exhausted, sometimes it's better to get sleep and then when you're a little bit more awake, go ahead and go, which is different from the, oh, I just don't feel like doing anything right now. It's different than that type of uh, sleep. So. I'm just kind of learning to judge which is which because I would still be trying to hit go when I should hit, be hitting the, the pause or the stop button. And then I wanted to go ahead and check my schedule. Might have some training to do or whatnot. So I was looking at that. And then for Wednesday, um, just kind of was writing down that I wanted to post on my YouTube channel um, as well. I'm still deciding if I want to do the, the faith plan with me is on Sunday, since a lot of people like go to like faith services on Sunday or if it should be Wednesday. But I'm thinking maybe Wednesday might be the best day. So jury is still out on that one. But I'll let you know what I decide, you guys. And Again, for you guys who watch my faith plan with me or just my videos in general, again, your viewership is always appreciated. But um, I had to do some laundry, some delicates, and yes, they deserve a different load. And I, there was just appointments. I had to cancel other reading and just um, kind of keeping ahead of like metrics at my job and just making sure I'm hitting those targets. And pretty much outside of cleaning and like making sure I prep my hair for the work week you know um like pretty much getting out the bulk of like the pretty much all of the tangles so you know when I have to do my hair throughout the week it's a lot easier and stuff like that like deep condition so to speak um and then for the weekend I like to get some inspirational words down and just do my voiceover and I like to clean my makeup brushes that's pretty much the gist of everything of what I like to do throughout the week because, you know, you can't, you can't use dirty makeup brushes for too long or period, really. You should be cleaning them weekly. Um, and unfortunately, I've gotten into the habit of doing that, so I'm really happy for that. And this is pretty much me putting down some of the washi tape that is just sitting there and I was like, it's cute to add in washi tape. I really am loving washi tape now. So I'm just adding the different types of washi tape throughout the spread just to kind of make it okay. I put some other little circular stickers down, circular. I. I don't think I'm still saying that word right. <laughs> and I put some other page black stickers down just to kind of fill in some other areas that I thought could use a tad bit more color.
And this is pretty much a completed spread, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I hope you always remember to plan.